So, Ric Flair. Well, where to be in here? Ric Flair's alleged final match. I added the word alleged because it's wrestling. Ric Flair's alleged final match will take place on July 31st from Nashville. After reports came out recently that Flair was training for his in-ring return, the 73-year-old confirmed to ESPN that his final match will take place on the last night of StarCast 5 from the Nashville Fairgrounds. The event will be titled Jim Crockett Promotions Presents Ric Flair's Last Match. And it will stream on Fight.TV. I'm going to walk that aisle one last time to prove once and for all that to be the man, you have got to beat the man, said Ric Flair in a statement. His opponents and possible teammates for the match have not been officially confirmed. According to our own Dave Meltzer, however, Flair could potentially team with FTR against a Rock and Roll Express and a partner on the show. You know, I don't want to say that I'm available, but I am available that day. He told me it was a secret, but the rumor has it Ric Flair and FTR against the Rock and Roll Express and somebody, Meltzer said on Wrestling Observer Radio. So uh, there you go. Starcast 5, July 29th to July 31st, Nashville Fairgrounds in Nashville, Tennessee. I see a lot of people, uh, you know, very concerned about Ric Flair and uh, the fact that Ric Flair has a pacemaker and uh, he wants to do this match here. And I think at the end of the day, listen, if I were Ric Flair's doctor, I think I would strongly encourage him against doing this match. But uh, you can't control Ric Flair. I think that's been made abundantly clear. And if uh, people are willing to uh, do the match, promote the match, buy tickets for the match, I mean, that's just what's going to happen. I will say that Ric Flair has been doing a lot of in-ring training. Have you guys seen the footage of him and Jay Lethal? He's been training with Jay Lethal, and uh, this footage has been, uh, you know, there's been footage that's come out for quite a while now. I feel like it's been months. And they get in there, and uh, and this dude, he's taking bumps, and he's doing all of his old spots, and he's in there, and he's working hard. And I guess really the only thing that I could say is that uh, I'm not sure that if he is in a six-man tag— with uh, five other people in there to uh, carry most of the load, I'm not sure that he is going to be doing like much different than he's doing regularly in there with Jay Lethal. In fact, he could conceivably be doing less. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens here. But, uh, you know, Ric Flair and FTR against the Rock and Roll Express... And somebody. So I guess, you know, I guess if the Rock and Roll Express are on the other side of the ring, Flair's going to get his opportunity to be a heel in his last match, which he's surely going to want to be. And uh, maybe even Jay Lethal can team with the Rock and Roll Express, and they can get in there and do all their spots and and all that. So you just can't stop this guy. He's going to do what he's going to do. I mean, it's been that way for decades, decades, decades. And uh, granted, he is going to do a lot more than Vince McMahon did at WrestleMania this year. But uh, Vince McMahon, four years older than Ric Flair at WrestleMania this year. So that's the update on the alleged final match of Ric Flair. Rob Bartlett is the man. He tried the best he can. Vince on the new room. What Rob Bond's going to do to you. Vinny V, Happy Torben, and Bartlett in a three-way. Oh. Here comes the commentator, Rob Bartlett. He's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life. Come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty hey, oh, look who's here on the show, everybody. There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know. <laughs> he still got it. <laughs> He still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. 
Well, Rob what Bartlett. did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> That's... Oh, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five. And so, died and you, April 28, 1946. That's, that's he died in, okay, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. Here you go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, 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 aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. And, um. Lucky fella. I'm, uh. I'm I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.